Monday, December 11th. I kind of decided that today would be a good day to kill two birds with one stone. We are on our way to a, uh, well, an actual new hunting ground. Well, it's not new. That's not fair to say. I used to go here um, many moons ago, we'll say. This place has a, uh, a large lake. Um, has a little more, I'd say it probably has a little more hunting ground. It's public land still. And just some variety. It's got a little bit more uh, topographical features. It has a few more ridges and valleys and things of that sort. A few more creeks, a lot more water. And not just from the lake, but all around it, there's a lot more water down here. And I'm also gonna use the opportunity to uh, yeah, throw a saddle in a tree. Spend a little time hanging out, literally. But I think it's a good opportunity to, like I said, kill two birds with one stone, kind of get a little bit more familiar with this area back down here. It's like I said, I haven't been there in a long time. And, uh, and also throw the saddle up in the tree. So we're heading there now. Um, enjoy the ride. We'll be there in uh, about a half hour. You can see that behind me there. It looks like I'm hunting from the ground. But until you look out this way. Yeah, I'm not that high up. I elected for my uh, dry run today to just do three steps. And not all four sticks. Three sticks. I don't know what is wrong with me. Why do I keep calling them steps? Oh well. I chose three sticks to start off with today. There's my fourth stick. I decided to toss off my bag or off my uh, saddle while I was on the way up. And if you look real close, you can see the one arrow that fell off my quiver while I was pulling it up. It wasn't a perfect execution, but uh, it wasn't the worst either. As far as comfort goes, I mean, I sat in this thing a couple times around my house. But to be honest with you, it's about as comfortable as you can get. Rumor tells me I'm getting a pack band for Christmas, which would be nice too, but honestly, it's pretty darn comfortable as is. now we're just going to continue to uh, see what walks through we'll see worst case scenario is it's a good dry run of using the new saddle gear and uh, getting acclimated to everything testing out a few systems and uh, see what we got so enjoy the view
wish I would have gone up uh, the other step now. But uh, it's kind of nice because I've got that brush behind me, which is providing a pretty decent little camouflage window there. So I'm not sure that anything can hang, even if it walks through here and can see me. Well, I hate to call this success, but the biggest problem I've had with hunting on the ground is I can't see what's walking around me. I'll hear it, but I can't see what's walking around me. And just now, out there, I watched something walk through. That wasn't close. And by the time I got my camera out, it was already hidden again. But I saw the movement. And the horizontal line walked through the woods. Which, that's a deer. So again, I'm not going to call that a success, but it's definitely one of the reasons why I want to go to the saddle. I want to be able to see a little bit better out in the woods, and uh, that was achieved. So that's a good thing. And by the way, I love this pack. This is the Trophy Lion Sumter pack. Love this thing. Good hunting room. It's got molly straps on the side so I can throw my pop on there, which I'm always a big fan of. I love this pack. Lots of crows out here. I mean, lots of crows out here. You can hear the shooting range off in the distance behind me. It's actually quite a ways away, but it's a very nice shooting range. It's one of the nicest in the areas. It's a state range. And, uh, they got rifle, shotgun, archery, handgun. Yeah, it's a really nice shooting range. They've done a lot of work on it in the past. We used to go there, it was just kind of a, down a gravel road and a couple of little ranges, but they have expanded it extensively. I haven't been there in a long time, but I used to live south of town and go down this way a lot more, but since moving back north, I haven't really been this way all that much. But I'd say with this uh, coming down here today, that's probably going to change. I can definitely see why people hunt out of the saddle. It's not really uncomfortable as long as you got the saddle fit right. The first time I tried it on, it got up in a tree and gave me a little bit of hip pinch. But I made a few changes, adjusted it, and uh, to be honest with you, it fits really good now. It's comfortable. Uh, yeah, I think this will probably be the. Uh, the new standard. Am I giving up ground hunting? No. But I think every uh, I think every technique is a tool in the toolbox. And, uh, I definitely want to uh, grow my toolbox a little bit more. So, saddle it is. see him, but I heard him screaming when he came in, and I can hear him pounding on the tree now. He's right 
over there. There he goes. Just blew off. Well, other than the one I saw way off in the distance. And the pileated woodpecker. And possibly a couple squirrels. It's been a very quiet day out here. We'll give it a little while longer. It's Sunday. I don't have a whole lot going on today. My wife went over and visited our daughter today for a little bit. Some football games on, but really I'm just kind of enjoying hanging out in the tree. I'll tell you this, I've got size 11 feet, 11 and a half, and uh, turning around on this platform is not the easiest thing in the world to do. I feel like Austin Powers trying to do a five point turn in that hallway. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it a day. It's a nice suit. It, uh, certainly was definitely a, uh, it was definitely a change in tactics, which I'm a big fan of. It's nice to try something different. Um, wasn't any more successful, but that's okay. I kind of resolved myself to. Uh, a few new places out and obviously saddle hunting trying out a new tactic or two uh, I don't want to say in preparation for next season but I mean it's December 11th let's be honest about it there's a lot of season go by and uh Never hurts to plan for tomorrow. So I'm gonna start heading down the tree and uh, get back to the truck and head home. Well, I'm back down on terra firma now. And uh, yeah, uh, I think the theme for this should be uh, mistakes were made, but uh, I think we, we'd handled it pretty well. Um, yeah, that was fun. It's definitely a better way to uh, to see things than I have been, but uh, we'll continue to uh, mix it up. So I'll see you next time.